Hi, you guys. I am the Runway Travelista, and you guys, I am coming on today to discuss the benefits of recreation, you guys. Uh, so the benefits of recreation, playtime, fun, hobbies, and enjoyment, and how they play a critical role in overall health and total well-being. Okay, you guys? So number one, it says physical health benefits, okay? Engaging in recreational activities like hobbies and play helps in maintaining physical health. That's one thing, you guys, okay? Activities like sports hiking, dancing, and even playful exercise promote cardiovascular fitness, muscle strength, and flexibility. Regular physical activity reduces the risk of chronic diseases like obesity, diabetes, and heart conditions, okay? All right, it says, example, a 30-minute brisk walk daily improves cardiovascular health and boosts energy levels. So what this is saying is um, that they consider physical fitness as recreation, okay? So that's a part of your activity and hobby, hobby and play, okay? And that's one of the reasons why I like to do it, you guys, okay? Because I just feel like we need that for our overall total health and well-being. It just gives us a break from the uh, nuances of our daily routines and just, you know, from work and uh, things that may cause us anxiety and stress and depression, you guys. So that's why I believe. So that's one of the things uh, that they're saying is the physical health benefits. Okay. Number two, it says mental health and cognitive benefits. Okay. Recreation and hobbies are excellent stress relievers. Now, how many of us know that we need to have that? You do with all the stresses and daily things that we go on. Uh, maybe it's with our job, stress on the job, stress with the kids, stress with the mate. Uh, you know, just the daily stresses, you guys. That's why this is very helpful. Okay, it says play and fun activities stimulate the release of endorphins. Okay, which we know good endorphins. We talk about that in our workouts, you guys. The good endorphins that play involves so they're considered physical fitness but also i'm hobbies like golf um going out to dance i told some of y'all i like the two-step okay <laughs> i'm from kansas city so those are um just helpful things um that help you de-stress okay and where you don't have it and that anxiety okay so it's uh so th this is very important you guys and i talk about that even with kids you guys and playtime we think that kids don't have different stresses. Well, they do. They go to school. They're around other kids that, you know, they may be dealing with different things. And then the different stresses that they may see their parents going under. So that's why I say uh, when, when our kids, they, they, they feel and they have stress as well. So uh, playtime is really good for them. That helps them unwind. Okay. So I talked about that with my grandkids. Um, you know, that, that just they, they can feel when our parents are stressed. They can feel when, diff, you know, different things are going on. Um, and even with their, their at school, okay? So that's why I say I believe that kids need to have playtime as well as ourselves, okay? All right, so it says engaging in creative hobbies like painting. It could be a lot of things. Some people have hobbies on painting, maybe reading a book, okay? So you can read a book with your kid, okay? that That's a good way of distressing and letting those kids have a good hobby, okay? Solving puzzles, okay? Enhances cognitive functions, improves focus, okay? And delays mental aging. And that's something that I told you that my grandma did. My grandma did she solved puzzles for a long time because she said it helps keep her mind. It keeps her mind sharp and it keeps her focused. And it's telling you right there and it delays mental aging. Okay. And grandma is 94 years old, you guys. So we know it, it worked. It was working. It's working for her. She's still able to use her mind. Okay. So that's a really good example. Okay. Number three, emotional well-being. Okay. Recreation and play promote emotional resilience and improve mood, okay? Activities that bring joy and relaxation can reduce anxiety, depression, and negative feelings, okay? We said that we're working out. We say that we're reading a book. 
I like to travel. That's another way, okay? So we're getting some examples of things that we can do um, for a hobby or just things for recreation. It's very important that we have that in a total all, overall well-being, okay, you guys? All right, so it says uh, engaging in a fun hobby like gardening or playing a musical instrument, okay, fosters a sense of accomplishment, lifting one's mood, okay? All right, so those are all good benefits. Number four, the social benefit. Play and recreation activities are often social, okay? So participating in group sports, games, or social hobbies builds community connections, okay? And we talked about that with ourselves and even with our kids, you guys. Getting them involved in sports or activities at school, okay? It builds community and it also um, builds um, where they can play in a group setting, okay? And they say it's really good at strengthening relationships. So social interaction is essential for emotional support and contributes to feelings of belonging and well-being, okay? All right? So it says team sports like soccer or even group board games foster friendships, improve communication skills, and reduce feelings of loneliness. And we all know that uh, social the social benefits, especially with these kids and ourselves, to put them together where they don't feel isolated and lonely, okay? Because sometimes when you isolate yourself and you feel lonely, that can give you a sense of, um, you know, uh, that you're all alone, okay? That you're in this thing, you know, and that causes more stress and worry, okay? So we want to we want to feel a sense of belonging, okay? Even though we have our own individual, we all want to have a sense of belonging, okay? In life, okay? Especially if we got to be in this life, you guys, okay? So in number 6 it says work-life balance and productivity. I believe in this. I stress this highly. I talked about work-life balance, okay, you guys? I believe in working, but I also believe in playtime, okay? Because this is the thing. If you're in if you're off balance with that, you're going to have heightened stress, heightened uh depression and different things, okay? So it's good to kind of balance that out, okay? It says incorporating fun and play into life creates a better balance between work and relaxation, okay? This balance is a critical for preventing burnout so you don't get burnt out. And and and, and, and some of these things that it's telling us is what I've been saying all along, you guys. And I'm not saying like I'm just this guru at it, but I just know what has worked for me over time. Work and balance, you 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 have to balance that thing. If you just give it all work, then you're you're gonna get burnt out and you're not gonna enjoy. And, and, and so that's why, and it makes it feel okay when, if you do work and then you play, then you feel like, okay, when you feel somewhat overworked, you feel like, okay, at least I got to enjoy some of my life. Okay. <laughs> All right. If that makes sense to you guys, then it says number seven, spiritual and essential health. Okay. Engaging in hobbies and recreational activities that align with personal passions, fosters a sense of purpose and fulfillment. So we know that that's good that we, uh, when we're doing things that are aligned with our purpose and that fulfill us, that that's gonna contribute to our spiritual well-being as well, okay? Helping individuals feel more connected to our values and our morals and the world around us, you guys, okay? These are all things that I've been stating, you guys, okay? So um, then it says resilience and adaptability, okay? Regular play helps build psychological resilience by teaching individuals how to cope with challenges and adapt to change, okay? And then it says longevity and quality of life. Studies suggest that people who regularly engage in recreational activities and play tend to live longer and enjoy a higher quality of life, okay? Playtime fosters a sense of joy, vitality, contributed to both mental and physical longevity, you guys, okay? It's telling us right there, you guys. So it's saying here, recreation, playtime, and engaging in hobbies are essential to a balanced, healthy life, okay? These activities contribute to physical well-being, okay? Improve mental health, foster emotional resilience, and enhance creativity and social connections, you guys. Integrating play and fun into daily life can result in improved overall health, happiness, and longevity. All right, you guys, 
that's that that works for a total well-being.